What's up legends? Let's go Pokemon card hunting. And today we're starting out at Dollar General. All right, looks like we do have some unbroken bonds packs here. 325, Yu-Gi-Oh and Tops as well. All right, let's check back in the toy section. Oh wow, they've got quite a lot actually. Got these tins here, Rebel Clash boosters. Well, that's honestly a lot more stock than we ever really see at Dollar General. So yeah, not some bad stuff there, but nothing I want to pick up today. I'm not too interested in those tins or Rebel Clash. But anyway, let's head on to the next store. Let's check out Target next. All right, it looks like we hit a bit of a restock. Got some Lost Origin and Astral Radiance Elite Trainer boxes. Got all the theme decks. Pokemon Go tins. Nice, we got the Lost Origin booster bundle. Interesting magic booster box or something like that. And we also got the Dragonite V-Star box. That's a good one. Pokemon Go team boxes. Infernape V. All right, nice. We also got this new product, the Dialga V-Star Premium Collection. Looks like we got the Palkia one as well. Whoops, I'll pick that up in a second. In addition, we got the holiday calendars down here and I'm not quite sure what this is. First partner accessory bundle. I feel like we've been seeing a lot of sports lately and people have not really been picking it up that much. I've also been seeing these Garbage Pail Kids boxes. Are those any good? Let me know in the comments below. All right, let's see what they have at GameStop this week. Some decent stuff here. The uh, Pika Zekrom box it is a nice box, but it is very expensive. But behind the counter, they actually did have some of the Build and Battle Stadium for uh, Lost Origin, as well as the Dragonite V-Star box, which is a really cool box again. But um, again, nothing I'm gonna pick up today, but I actually do wanna check out one more GameStop over here in the mall because um, right now they're actually running a deal where you can actually buy uh, two Pokemon card products and get one free. Um, I know it's online, but I think it's also in store. So we're gonna go see if we can find anything that I actually wanna get. And then uh, yeah, maybe we'll get a good deal today. Let's go. All right, Legends, we had some massive success. And I actually had exactly what I was hoping to get, which are these little booster bundles for Lost Origin. Now, we didn't have the best luck last time we opened these, but it really is uh, one of the best value products you can get. They're about $24 here at GameStop, and you get six booster packs, so that's pretty good. I still have some things I want to pull from Lost Origin. And like I said, uh, it is a buy two, get one free deal for pro members and so you can see even on my receipt here we saved $28.99 so yeah guys definitely take advantage of this while you can I believe you have until the end of the week Friday or maybe Saturday to uh, go take advantage of this deal but anyway let's go back and open these up Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention that I also was able to use my $5 coupon, which you receive every single month as a GameStop Pro member. I've definitely enjoyed being a Pro member at GameStop. It really has paid off in the long run with deals like today. You know, like I said, we got three of the booster bundles. I think we're only going to open up two of them today because it's quite a lot of packs, even just with the two. Sometimes it's good to spread out the openings as well. So super excited to see if we can pull that alt art Aerodactyl today. But real quick, if it's your first time here, here. My name is Luke, and after 20 years, I got back into collecting Pokemon cards to chase that feeling of nostalgia from my childhood. So I invite you to come along the collecting journey with me by hitting that subscribe button below. But let's get into our opening. Now, before we get into our booster bundles here, we actually do have some mail to open up from Whatnot. Now, Whatnot is the app featuring live stream auctions where you can bid on Pokemon cards and often get some great deals. Make sure you use my link in the description below to get a $10 credit towards your purchase on there. Guys, I have to say, I am extremely excited about this particular pickup today. Let's see if we can pull it out nice and gently. So there are several really good pickups in this 
in this lot right here, but there's one in particular that I have been waiting on for quite a long time. And I'm hoping it is in good, good condition because it's going to help me complete a set. But right here, we this is not that card, but we're gonna start off and see what we have here. We have Porygon from Rocket, Team Rocket. Very nice, all right, we'll take that. Definitely one we needed for that set. Next up, we have Diglett, again from Team Rocket. Yeah, I would say most of these are near mint, thankfully. All right, Dark Golduck, that is awesome. These are all ones that I needed for my Team Rocket Master set. Next up, this one has maybe a little more play. Maybe you consider this one to be light play based on the corner there and little dot down there. We have, ooh, Dark Machamp, non-hollow rare. I love this one. Even in the non-hollow, it's really a cool artwork. And of course, by none other than Mitsuhira Arita. Love that. We have Dark Golbat, non-hollow rare. This one got a little bit more play, probably light play though. We'll take it. And one thing I have to let you guys know that during this particular stream, of course, I got several good deals, but also uh, I guess a, a fan of mine, a fan of the channel, uh, happened to be in that stream and he actually purchased several cards that I started bidding on. And he's like, hey, don't bid anymore. I'm going to give this to you. And so a lot of these cards, not all of them, but some of them are ones that he gave to me. So shout out to, uh, I think it's Hyrick W. Uh, he's the one who uh, was in that stream and really appreciate your support and uh, it really means a lot. We got Dark Doug Trio, awesome. So many awesome Watsy cards and I love the Team Rocket set. One of my favorites of all time. Next up we have this card. Yeah, these, are, these are all in amazing conditions. Dark Arbok, non-hollow rare, I love that one. One of the few cards that I actually have the hollow in my uh, childhood collection, but we needed the non hollow version. But we still have not seen. Ooh, okay. <laughs> that is pretty awesome. Uh, I was going to say, we still have not yet seen the card that I am pretty stoked about. So stay tuned. We're not there yet, but this is a pretty sick card right here. Dark Machamp. The little swirl kind of by his head there, half swirl. You know, a little scratching on the hollow, but nothing crazy. Let's check out the back. That's really usually where you can tell. This one's looking really good. A little bit of like a scratch on the card there that you can see in the, the light, but yeah, I'm okay with that. Because of that, you'd probably consider this to be light play, but I'm perfectly fine with that. This one got a little bit of whitening down there, a dot in the corner, but looking pretty good overall. Ooh, very nice. Now, I actually already had this one, but uh, <laughs> I think this one was part of a lot. I think that might have come with the Dark Machamp, and the, the Machamp was the one I really needed. So, But this is just a really cool card. The Dark Gyarados pre-release. I still actually need the regular Hollow from the, for the set itself, but such a cool card. You, can do, you actually do see a little bit of a half swirl, quarter swirl by his mouth there. It's kind of cool, it almost looks like bubbles coming out of his mouth. Love that artwork, love that card. All right, now we're getting into some other stuff. This one is in a top loader. Could that mean something? We have pretty minty card. Ooh, Dark Magneton, oh, I love that one. And I do know for sure, this is one that Hyrek actually uh, donated to me in the stream. Very, very cool. You got kind of a big print line or scratch down there, but other than that, a really amazing card, and I love that it's got the little half swirl too by, by the head. Oh, this is incredible. Making some huge progress on our Team Rocket master set from this little pickup here. But believe it or not, we don't just have Team Rocket in this set, or in this little lot here. Yeah, probably a light play copy. Oh, nice, the double colorless energy. This is one I needed for the base set. I'm literally just down to a few cards to complete the base set. 
So we're super close, especially after this lot today. All right, got another one. A little bit of whitening, but probably light play. Pokemon Center, very nice. Another great trainer for uh, from uh, base set as well. Got another one, Pokemon Breeder. Same story there. This one is a little closer to mint. Um, yeah, maybe light play actually. Light play plus. Guessing this might be another base set trainer that we needed. And I may have misspoke earlier. I don't think I, this is going to completely complete my my master set, but we're really close to completing base set. After this little opening right here, we got potion. Love it. A few of these I had um, in my personal collection, but some of them were just kind of too damaged, so I had to get some that were in a little bit better condition. But we have saved the best card here for last. I don't know if you guys can guess what this is. If you've been following the channel for long enough, maybe you can, because you, you might know what I'm still missing for my master set. Let's see what we have here. They did say that this card is near mint, which is exactly what I was looking for. Let's see if that is true. Oh, wow. Look at the top there. That's There's like hardly any whitening, just minuscule dots on the corner there. On the side. All right, at least as far as the back goes, maybe, I don't know, it's kind of hard to tell in the light there, maybe a little bit of white dot there. Oh man, guys. Do you know what this is? What we have is, ah, uh, they set Venusaur. We finally found a minty copy of this card. Wow. Wow. All right, guys. Whew. I cannot believe I finally own this card. I've been. I've just been holding out for a long time because I've even met with different people locally and looked at their their card and it just wasn't in the condition I was wanting, it wasn't meeting the standards I was wanting. So this is exactly what I was looking for. This is a great copy of this card. Some uh, decent centering on the front and I would say even better centering on the back. Wow, and the, ho and the hollow is like super clean. Like there's a, maybe a small print line going horizontally. Maybe it's a scratch, but it looks more like a print line. I don't really see much else other than that. Awesome. I think after this one, I think I might only need one more trainer to complete the base set. This is incredible. We've got some really, really good copies of the big three. Those are the ones that I knew I wanted a mint copy of each of them. I would say that we do. All right, guys. Well, thank you for humoring me for that little pickup there. Again, shout out to uh, Hirak. Um, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that username correctly, but thanks for uh, giving me several of these cards. He didn't uh, donate this one, but a lot of those cards, like I said, were donated uh, from him, so really appreciate you. And guys, uh, of course, Venusaur belongs up here. I guess we'll move the Hitmonchan. Well, that's only half of our opening today because we still got two booster bundles, six packs in each, 12 total. We didn't really actually have the best luck when we opened these before. We opened up two of them and we really didn't get hardly anything. I was a little disappointed, but it sounds like some people do have decent luck from these. So we're going to give it another shot. And like I said, it's definitely probably the best value of almost any product that you can get. It's a brand new product that they just released with Lost Origins. So we are going to try our luck today for an alt art or something similar. I uh, would also love to get the uh, full art character rare. Pikachu, uh, I guess there's two of them, the uh, the V and also the VMAX. I'd love to get both of those still. So there's a code card for you. Let's see what we can do today from our first booster bundle. All right, fighting, licky licky. 
the Minion, Wind Up Arms, Whirlpool, Shuppet, Tynamo, C Dot, Horse C, Ink A Reverse, and we have a Hollow, Hisui, and Arcanine. A very cool hollow to get, though. I'll take that. Let's make some room for our hits today. I cannot stop staring at that Venusaur up there. Such an amazing card. Those base set uh, artworks are really just so nostalgic for me. Whoops, wow, that was something. I really can't with this pack. Horsey, Electric Reverse, and Mr. Mime. I did not know Mr. Mime was in this set, pretty cool. We might stick that in our binder with the Mr. Mime page. There you have a code card. Ooh, let's pull some fire from this pack here. Mean Fu, Litwick, Double Litwicks, wow, Snover, Rhyhorn, Gloom Reverse, and Dugong. Man, we'll say a very nice Gen 1 artwork there, but dang, what the heck, not getting much hits so far. Not even a trainer gallery in either of those, or any of those first three. Is this just my luck with these products right here? Starting with the Psychic Energy, Porygon 2, Lake Acuity, Carbink, Pika, Phantom, Pseudo Widow, Electrike, Love Disc, Hisui and Zorak Reverse, and an Ariados. Gotta get something from these six packs. Water, Poly Whirl, cool artwork there. Like he's juggling the water almost. Oddish, the Disc of Love, Phalanx, Poliwag, Gilgar, Porygon, and a Hollow Gudra. Man, so far this opening is literally exactly the same as the last booster bundle I opened. This might be it if we don't get anything good from these ones here. Well, of course, we still had that third one that we didn't decide not to open today. But after that, I don't know, we'll see. C Dot, Slugma, Wurmple, still not a single trainer gallery in that entire box. Like, what in the world? And Macargo. Well, this is not looking so good. All right, well, we'll see what happens here. Not really, uh, not a tough act to follow. I guess we can only go up from here, right? Maybe. I mean, we got two hollows in the last one. So I guess, I guess we could go down from here. It's definitely possible. Whoops. Sudowoodo, Electrike. Benet, whoops, grabbed two by accident. And the Hollow Vile Plume, definitely a cool hollow. Please comment below, because have you guys really had, have you had this bad luck like I have for these booster bundles? Like, I feel like I've heard some people getting some decent hits from them. Don't know what is going on with mine. We got Hisuian Zerua. And Magirna. Start with the V Star. Really can't. Roselia, Rockruff, Seal, Shuppet, Machop, Silcoon. Dang. Not even a single trainer gallery. And Dugong. All right. What do we got? Anything? Nope, not in the trainer gallery. Not even in the rare spot. Wow. This is really a ripoff. I'm not gonna lie. Because this is already the, the fourth one of these that we've opened. Torkoal. Azarazu. Slugma. Clefairy. 
Apom, Spinarak, Litwick, Clefairy. <sighs> okay, well, it looks like we may have something after all, finally. Looks like a V-Star of some sort. We got, okay, Giratina V-Star. Wow, finally we got something. Like, that was, that was beginning to be ridiculous. You know, always be thankful. I'm sorry if I'm coming across a little more negative. And I definitely shouldn't be, because we just got a base set Venusaur. But at the same time, it sucks to spend money and not even really have a lot of fun with these products. So, all right, guys. On to our last pack today. Can we get anything better? Seems unlikely. Horsey. Oh man, I keep skipping to the uh, reverse spot there. So, Beauty Fly. And we're ending off with a Glass Streer. Very interesting. It's kind of like the, uh, the Ice Rider. I didn't really even know that these were different Pokemon, so very fascinating. It's kind of a cool one, though. All right, guys, I know what I said, but that was just ridiculous. I'm going to go ahead and open up this third booster bundle. I don't know. It might just be as bad as the last two, but I just I can't end it off like that. All right, let's go. Aerodactyl. Seriously, this is my this might be my last time opening these because this is I don't know. I just didn't expect it to be that bad. I thought, you know, maybe the first time I opened them that was just the fluke. But it's starting to seem like that's not the case. Alright, there you go. Okay. For a while. Shellas, Foul Plume, and Comfy. Okay. All right, let's pull some fire. Let's really do it this time. Good old Danny Phantom. Pseudo Wudo. Hey, nice. All right, that's what I'm talking about. Charizard. I pulled this one before, but actually traded it or sold it off. So I'm glad to see him again. Awesome. Okay. I feel a little bit vindicated now. Finally can actually pull something decent or beetle. I'm just saying, I mean, there are so many trainer galleries in this set. Like to pull zero from two booster bundles is just insane to me. So finally got a really good one. Apparently, this was the good one, you know. So I think I might see something peeking back there. We'll find out what it is. Bronzong, Colrus Experiment, Paris, Inke, Vasculin, Jinx. Try my best not to skip to the trainer gallery because I keep doing that. We got Litwick, and underneath there, we got. Okay, a Kai. Kyurum V. Nothing crazy, but exactly, you know, it's it's what you still want to see. You want to see stuff like that. Okay. Arezu. Really can't. Lost vacuum. These seem very... I don't know. They Sometimes it feels like I'm opening the same pack. Oh, nice. Crobat V. That's a good one. We have pulled him before, but I love this artwork. Super cool trainer gallery card. Let's find out if we have a double hit. Also, Spirit Tomb, but that's awesome. This is actually one of my favorite from this set, believe it or not. Definitely a really cool one. Yeah, seriously, apparently I picked the two worst boxes from the stack. And we were gonna open just those ones, but I'm glad that we decided to open one more. Let's go, see if we can pull anything else cool. Still holding out hope for that Aerodactyl today. Ducklet, Blipbug, Finian, Hisuian, Zerua, Machamp Hollow. I mean, Reverse Hollow. That's 
kind of a cool one. And we got Manectric. All right. Well, now, this is our last pack for real. This time we really mean it. And I feel like I can end off the opening in peace. Knowing that our third one, our third uh, box that was completely free, had pretty much all the good stuff. Here we go, guys. Fighting Energy, Bronzong, Colress's Experiment, Lost City, Bronzor, Snover, Jinx, Inke, Squobit, Porygon 2 Reverse, and today we're ending off with a Benet. Some pretty cool stuff finally from our opening today. Love that Charizard. And uh, yeah, the Giratine's alright, but I love the Charizard and that Crobat V. And we got some incredible pickups today from Whatnot as well. Again, make sure you use my link below to get your $10, $10 free on there. So, yeah, guys, I am super stoked to finally have Venusaur. Be sure and check out one of these videos on screen if you like Pokemon card hunts and openings. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to support the channel. And lastly, I wanna let you know that no matter what you're going through, you are not alone. God is with you and he loves you and we do too. I'll catch you next time.